if we were to export an object that is base resolution into Marvelous Designer. There is a way to imply the same thing in Marvelous Designer and it's called Smooth Faces. Let me see if I can find it. Let me go and disable everything here. Bring back my Genesis 8 mail guy. Uh, in fact, yeah, I'll go and put him in the middle. He still has his his quads drawn on there, his, his lines drawn on, that's cool. I'm gonna go and turn him under mesh resolution into base resolution now. I'll hide everything else. So he's now base resolution Genesis. I'm gonna go and export him uh, just on the desktop as an OBJ. G8 male base, I'll call him. GM but what not found. I'm gonna didn't I say export? No, I said import, didn't I? Duh. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why. So G8 mail base. Everything it does, that's perfect. Let's go fire up the marvelous designer. And let's look at him because he'll be he'll look a little bit chunky, and that's that's totally fine. So uh, we will go and see if we can make him slightly smoother. So you can use this tip if you have clothing that you want to you just want to have that extra level of subdivision. And uh, if you have brought in if you're exp if you're importing a base rest character in Marvelous Designer, it's not strictly necessary. So for things that you bring into Claw or Marvelous Designer, th those avatars don't have to be base rest. You can use high res um, avatars for that. Only because uh, we don't bring it back into Dash Studio. We're just leaving it in Marvelous Designer, putting clothing on, and we're bringing the clothing out. We're not doing anything else with the avatar, so it doesn't matter what the avatar looks like. So that's why you can use... Um, that's why you can use the high resolution. But I'll show you a neat trick that you can use open as avatar centimeters and do not ever press this button. It's terrible. Don't don't press it because otherwise, you know, universe will end. So I'll go into my 3D window here and I'll see him. I'll, I'll just look at his ears. And I can see that the ears are chunky. The ears are a bit representative of the rest of his body. So uh, this chunkiness, even though less pronounced, you'll see that everywhere. You see it on his chin, you see it on his body contours. So as a result, if you were to simulate a garment and it's very tight fitting and close to your avatar and you bring it back into Das Studio and Das Studio uses a higher level of subdivision, you will see that the clothing might not quite fit. And that's a shame. So you can either then add a subdivision, sorry, a smoothing modifier to your clothing in DAS Studio. That'll make your clothing kind of follow the avatar in DAS. And therefore it'll fit a little bit better, but it basically just be aware that it changes your geometry. Or if you are intending to make clothing for say the Genesis 8.1 characters, you need a higher level of subdivision on your on your character. So what you can do here is, I believe, select all faces, first of all, and then properties, that's the one, smooth avatar, here it is, smooth on or off, and the division level. So this is exactly the same thing. You're not adding geometry to the base mesh, you're using, you're doing it, you're letting Marvelous Designer do it. So um, just have to select one face and then say smooth avatar, and Marvelous Designer thinks about it for a second, but then we have non-chunky ears. And you can even set the level of smoothness. So that's quite neat. So Marvelous Designer has the same feature. So if you were to do this, in, if, you, if you're doing this in Marvelous Designer for things like Genesis 8.1 characters that by default have a high level of subdivision, um, you, might be, you might be well advised to enable that in Marvelous Designer. One of those things.